Okay, let's talk about the best way to solve this type of equation. Now, I'm purposely being a little vague. I'm using the word this. Okay, I'm not telling you what type of equation this is because uh, I want you to, you know, see if you can figure it out. Now, uh, in mathematics, you got to recognize what you're dealing with first before you can even solve it. So this is a, a certain type of equation. Okay, so part of uh, solving uh, any equation in algebra is knowing what are you dealing with. Okay, now if you can identify what type of equation you're dealing with, then you can bring uh, those respective tools uh, to solve this type of equation. And of course, I'm going to solve this in one second, but I can assure you if you are in anything like an algebra or beyond uh, class, you're, you're going to know how to solve this type of equation. Uh, and of course, I'm going to get to uh, all of that in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, uh, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Um, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have a hundred plus different math courses. Uh, I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But uh, I also have many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're preparing for, like, let's say the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, maybe the CLEP exam, Accuplacer, Alex, uh, ASVAB, uh, boy, there's so many exams out there. Maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis or nursing entrance exam. All these, uh, all these exams I mentioned have uh, math sections on them. And... Uh, Pretty, it's pretty typical for these sections to uh, be covering um, advanced high school level mathematics. So if you don't know that level of math, you're not going to be able to get through these exams. So there's a lot of you out there trying to prepare, uh, so I can definitely help you out. Just go to my site, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have what you need, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with independent learners, uh, like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool uh, learning system. So if you homeschool, I can definitely help you out. And then I also help those of you who are just struggling in your math class. Now, one thing that I can't do for you, okay, if you're interested in really, you know, improving in math, then there's one thing you have to do for yourself that I can't do for you, and that is take great math notes. So over decades of uh, teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me, those students who have fantastic notes, I'm not talking about good notes, I'm talking about great notes, those students who have... Um, who've worked hard to construct that level of quality of notes almost always do very, very well in math. And the reverse is true. Those students who have no notes, or maybe their notes look like this. It's kind of like, you know, like that. We call that chicken scratch. It's on a piece of paper. Then you go look at your notes and you're like, mm, I have no idea what I wrote down. And then, you know, I mean, is, is that really like, you know, a value? Of course not. So don't make yourself feel good by like, hey, I'm taking notes. Look at me. Da, 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 and you're doodling and you think about this, that, and other thing. Now, I made all these mistakes and more way back in the good old 1980s. And uh, that was even uh, without having a cell phone, okay? Because we didn't have those little nice smartphones. But it, boy, I tell you, this little device, it's an amazing device, but it's also uh, like a huge distraction, okay? Let's just say that much. So, you already did, uh, distracted enough. Uh, you have to stay focused in order to learn math. That's the bottom line. And the one uh, activity that will help you stay focused, okay, is note taking. Everything is about focus, right? If you're paying attention and you're focused, things are going to go smooth for you. And in the mathematics, there's just too many little small details coming your way. So if you want to be successful in math, you got to take great math notes. Now, if you're going to be like, well, no, no, I really don't want to put it into work. I'm going to try to cheat the system. Well, I'm just telling you right now, you know, take it for someone who's been doing this for decades. I'm just, you're not going to be able to cheat the system. All right. So <laughs> uh, believe me when I tell you, just work on your focus, work on your notes, and things are going to get much better for you. Now, in the meantime, you still need something to study from. So uh, I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this problem. And uh, let's go down here 
And first of all, let's identify what kind of problem we're dealing with. So what do you think uh, this equation represents? What type of equation? Well, hopefully you're looking at this and you're looking at that and you're thinking, okay, this is telling me something. And if you said quadratic, are we dealing with a quadratic equation? I would, you know, I would be like, wow, that's pretty good. So I'd have to give you a happy face. Uh, I'm not going to give you any stars or A pluses uh, yet, but I will give you a happy face. Matter of fact, I'll give you a check mark, right? That's very good. This is a quadratic equation. Now, let's continue on here. So if you identify this as a quadratic equation, what do we know about quadratic equations? So this is what we know that we're going to have two solutions, okay? We're going to have two solutions. Now, these solutions can be real numbers or imaginary numbers. Uh, for the most part, like in basic algebra, you're dealing with real number solutions. But basically, there are going to be two solutions no matter what. So if you knew that, give yourself another check mark. Okay, that's very good. Now, what are uh, some techniques that I can use to solve this equation? So when we're dealing with quadratic equations, I can use various tools. So those tools, uh, tools would include factoring, okay? I would like to factor if I could factor. Um, also, I like to take the square root of both sides uh, if the situation allows. And sometimes uh, you can't do this or you can't do this. Sometimes you can't factor. Sometimes you cannot take the square root of both sides. And in the event that you can't factor and you can't take the square root of uh, both sides, we have the good old quadratic formula. So this is kind of like our default um, you know, when these two techniques don't work, then we're going to go ahead and use the quadratic formula. And the long version to the quadratic formula is something called completing the square. Okay. Uh, the quadratic formula is actually like a shortcut of completing the square, but you need to know all these techniques. Okay. Including, uh, completing the square and all these various other tools. Okay. Now, which tool do we use? Okay. Well, you always want to use the most uh, efficient direct uh, path and I'm going to show you that here in a second so now if you knew all of this then I'm going to go ahead and give you another check mark matter of fact I'll give you one star for just to be having some basic knowledge now looking at this quadratic equation what stands out well I got some fractions here and when we're dealing with equations typically we want to get rid of fractions we don't want to deal with these fractions uh, as our coefficient. So how can I get rid of these fractions? So I'm going to show you the solution here in a second, but I'm, I'm going to tell you, okay, the easiest, best way, okay, here is to get rid of the fractions. And we can do that by using the LCD, okay? I'm going to multiply this entire equation by the LCD so I can clear out the fractions, and then I'm going to continue on. All right, so let me show you how to approach a problem like this. All right, so... Uh, first things first, when you're dealing with a quadratic equation, okay, unless you're going to take the square root of both sides, we want to set this equation equal to zero. Okay, that's the first thing we want to do. So I'm going to take this four, I'm going to move it over to the left-hand side, and now I have this equation here. I'm going to set it equal to zero. So hopefully you knew that. And now I'm like, you know what, I don't want to be dealing with these fractions. So I'm going to multiply the entire equation by the LCD, okay, and the LCD of these little fractions here, it's three, okay? So if I multiply uh, this entire equation by three, these fractions go away, they become one, and then obviously this is gonna change, and let's take a look at that now, okay? All right, so let's get rid of the fractions. I'm gonna multiply by the LCD, so three times this is going to be x squared, okay? So three times one-third is just one x squared, Three times this negative one third is negative x, uh, negative one third x, and then three times this negative four is negative 12, and then three times zero is zero. So remember in algebra, I can do anything I want to uh, an equation as long as I do uh, it equally to both the left and right hand side. Okay, so uh, this is the kind of notation here on how to uh, show that we're going to multiply the entire equation by three. Okay, so now I have this new equivalent trinomial, okay, and this is like awesome because this is nice and easy. It's all set up, you know, uh, nicely for us. It's set equal to zero, and I'm thinking to myself, what? What am I thinking here? I'm like, boy, I would love to be able to see if I could factor uh, this trinomial. Now, 
this is another area that a lot of students uh, are weak in, unfortunately, is factoring polynomials and trinomials. I have tons of videos on this on my channel under my uh, algebra playlist. So if you're struggling with that, check that out. But uh, x squared minus x minus 12 can be factored as x plus 3 times x minus 4. Okay, This trinomial here can be factored like so, and that's going to be equal to 0. Now, if you don't or if you didn't understand why this can be factored like this, you need to review factoring. Okay, uh, So just make a mental note and immediately be saying to yourself, i got to learn how to factor. And uh, again, I have tons of videos on this on my channel, or better yet, you might want to check out my Algebra 1 course. All right, now I have these factors, x plus 3 times x minus 4 is this trinomial, and it's uh, equal to 0. So what we're saying is this thing times this thing is 0. So if I have something times something else and the answer is 0, that means one or both of these things is 0. That's called the zero product property. And so uh, to solve uh, uh, this equation, I'm going to set each of these factors equal to 0. I say, okay, x plus 3, uh, you're 0. Okay, and x minus 4, you're probably 0 as well because something times something else, if the answer is 0, one or both of these things must be 0. So now I just solve these basic equations, x plus 3, uh, equal to 0, that's x is equal to 3. Okay, just subtract 3 from both sides. And here I'm going to add 4 to both sides, so I get x equals 4. And these are my two solutions to my quadratic equation. Now, if you got that right, I would definitely, you're going to have to give you a happy face, a mohawk, an A+, plus, uh, a 100%. I'll give you two stars, okay, because that wasn't, this wasn't like, the easiest problem, but it wasn't like the hardest problem. But uh, very good, though. Very, very good. Now, one thing here, let's just go back to the way this problem is right here. So let's say you're saying to yourself, okay, um, I know to set this thing equal to zero. All right, let's go back over here. And some of you said, well, I'm going to go ahead and just start using the quadratic formula. So I'll let A equal to this b is equal to this, and c is uh, equal to that, and you start going x is equal to minus b, plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, and you start doing all this number crunching with these particular values, that's a, that's the long way, and you're going to be dealing with a lot of, you know, uh, work. Now, if you happen to do this and still get the right answer, um, I still, you know, uh, give you credit, okay, I congratulate you, however, uh, that's working harder. You want to work smarter, not harder. And the only way to do so is to know all these techniques and skills and to be able to, you know, you just have to practice this stuff. And you, over time, you'll know how to encounter, uh, as you encounter different problems, the best techniques. It's just practice, 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 okay? That's why um, when you're learning math, uh, you watching me do this problem is not the same as you learning it. Uh, you might be saying to yourself, well, I don't get what you just said. Yes, you can watch me do a problem. But unless you practice this stuff on your, your, uh, on your own independently, you're never going to really uh, develop that skill and retain it. Because okay, so that's why practice is so critical. Okay, but if this video helped you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for, oh boy, 10 plus years at this time. Probably have over 1,000 videos on my channel. Uh, all organ. All of my videos are organized uh, from basic to advanced math and various playlists on my channel. So that's all there for you. But uh, my best math help will be in my math help program. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.